Hey everybody, uh, today we are going to talk about how to uh, use EBSCO to get a citation for an article that you want to use. Okay, so I've got this article here. I'm going to click into this from my list and it's an article that I'm going to use. Now EBSCO will give you some assistance with the citation. Right over here you'll see this button that says cite. So let me show you again, you're in the article. You can also get to it within full text. In both cases on the right hand side beneath print, email, save, you'll find a button that says cite. So if I click there, it's going to give me a list of different types of citations. So let's say for this class I'm doing MLA citations. I'm just going to look down the list until we see MLA. And then I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to copy it. So I highlighted that, did a control C, and now I'm going to go into my Word document, the last page of my paper, and I'm going to paste this in. So when I paste it in, it'll probably look a little strange. Okay, notice it looks a little strange here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to this clipboard here, click here, and then do this little blue arrow, merge the formatting. So we can get rid of any strange little formatting it's going to do. So that helped with a lot of things. What we're going to do now, we need to we need to set it up with a hanging indent. The second and third line need to be indented over. It needs to be double spaced and we need to make sure that it's the right font. So one thing it's a little strange usually when you think you can just go on here and tab it over. Well in mine, mine it does. Probably on yours at home when you try to tab over it's going to tab this whole thing over. So what I do, I highlight all this and I go up here next to paragraph, this little arrow by paragraph, click on that arrow, and this is called a hanging indent. So under special here, we're going to set this to hanging. While we're in here, let's set it to double spaced. And if this isn't clicked, go ahead and check that. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Click OK. OK, now look at it. So it gave it that nice hanging indent we're looking for. Made it double spaced. Let's check some things here. The font should be Times New Roman 12 point. It is. I can see that if it's not, you'll want to set it to Times New Roman 12 point for the font. Let's just go in here and look at, check it out for errors. Of doesn't need to be capitalized. To doesn't need to be capitalized. Just little things. In does not need to be capitalized. Okay, so everything else looks pretty good. You can see here, for the MLA rules, after you get a certain number of authors, you want to go at all, which means this is the main author and this is the other authors. And you can double check some of these formats. If you go to the library website, let's see here. If you go to the library website and go to Citation Assistance, you click here, it's going to bring up kind of a sheet of templates for us. And we can look at the MLA cheat sheet here. And when this opens up, let's take a look at what point do we use at all. With this sheet here, you can double check the citation. So let's look down here. Article with two authors, article with three authors, article with more than three authors. Once we get more than three authors, we list the first, the first author's name and then at all. So that is correct with this one. Okay, let's grab another citation. So let's go back to our list here. I'm going to go back to the result list. And when this comes up, I'm just going to choose another article from the list. Let's bring this down a little bit here when this page gets done loading. Let's open up this one. And this one I can see there's a whole bunch of authors, so we can expect to see an et all again. So right over here is Cite. And we're looking for MLA for this particular paper. Let's take here. I'm going to copy it. To paste this in. It's co coincidentally, it looks like this one came from the same journal. Now this time, I've already got all these formats set up up here. So I think that if I just click here on the second one now, and all future ones, and I click this blue arrow to merge formatting, it's probably going to copy the format of the first one onto the second one. And as we can see, just about everything is already set. It already set the hanging indent. It gave it double space. So really, if you can set up one, you can get them all. Let's just take off. Let's make sure everything is right here. In does not need to be capitalized. Two does not need to be capitalized. And does not need to be capitalized. Just check it over for any errors. We see at all again. And uh, this author's name comes after 
V comes after K, so we would leave this. If these needed to be alphabetized, we could alphabetize these as well. Um, if you needed a quick way to alphabetize them, you could highlight all of your citations, go up here to A to Z, click this button, and then just click OK. And it didn't change them around since they were already in the right order, but that's a quick way to get things in alphabetical order using this, using Word. So that is how you use EBSCO to get MLA citations. Let me know in the library if you uh, have any problems with this, have any questions. Thank you.